Hello, what up? If you guys have been paying attention, you can realize that we are living in a world of advertisers. Left, right and center, everything around us, the very device through which you are listening to me exists to help advertisers. It was created by advertisers for advertisers. And as someone who has been writing promotional content for various companies, different styles of content for various companies, I have to tell you that marketing has changed and has come a long way. And it's not really a good thing necessarily, but you be the judge of that. Initially, what marketing was, was the salespersons or the marketers of a particular company that is selling products or services, they will talk about their features. They'll talk about the things that made their product better than their competitors and they will demonstrate how their offerings will help their audience solve their fucking problems. It can be any kind of problem. I mean... Let's say uh, back in the day, if you want to buy a washing machine, they're going to demonstrate the features of the washing machine and tell you how their product is better than their competitors in terms of long lasting and whatnot, whatever, whatever, right? With time, marketers realized, sneaky little busters, they realized that it'll be much better, it'll be much easier for them to sell their products if they change the perception of their target audience about that product many companies do this already so right now if you think about a good secure smartphone you will probably think iphone probably like they're not definitely when you look at when you think about a good pair of running shoes you're gonna think about nike or adidas or whatever right And the reason why we do that is because these companies, rather than talking solely about their product and its features and whatnot, these motherfuckers have changed the perception of what a good product is in that realm. So in case of shoes, they have changed, like they have edited the definition of a good pair of running shoes inside our heads. So that whenever we go into the market, we search shoes that fits that description. And inevitably, we end up on their brands. That's what happens. If I manage to change your definition of a good laptop, for example, or a car, for example, to fit the definition of my products then whenever you will go to the market you will try to look for your definition of a good product if you think that a good pair of running shoes should be endorsed by athletes then whenever you enter the market the first thing you're gonna look for is a pair of running shoes that is endorsed by an athlete Because in your mind, that's the definition of a good pair of shoes. So that's how marketing has changed. It has now went from talking about the product and talking about how efficient the product is in solving some kind of problem all the way to changing how you as a potential consumer views that line of products. It's a very uh, tricky thing. It's it's just, uh, it's really uh, sneaky when you think about it, kind of below the belt. And it happens without you even knowing. Everything, all of the content, as I mentioned, you know, most of the content in social media is right now, particularly on YouTube, is exist on YouTube or any kind of other platform is because it is advertiser friendly. YouTube deliberately reduces the reach of the videos which are not that advertiser friendly. So platforms deliberately encourage 
advertiser friendly content explicitly right and it again if you think about it it all again goes back to consumerism to 50s and 60s when it kind of took off is that they changed the definition of happiness once your basic needs are met as a human being when you have roof over your head when you have food on the table when you have clothes on your back once your basic needs are met when you are living a you know kind of a comfortable living do you have a secure enough job that allows you to earn an honest living once your basic needs are met the true happiness comes from non-material things which includes creating art writing poetry i mean writing poetry is kind of gay but you you can write stories and essays and invent new stuff and uh create dramas and screenplays and uh socialize with people talk about ideas look at the stars these are the things that actually enrich your life however the consumerism movement convinced people that like i mean they changed the definition of happiness like i said you know they changed how you perceive happiness they said that the more you buy the happier you will get happiness is one purchase away you are defined by the things that you own so these are the things about realities of life which were edited into your consciousness and it happens from from childhood there is this documentary called commercialization of children uh you can you you can search it on youtube by the way and there in that documentary they show how children from a young age are exposed to advertisers through cartoons and on school on backpacks on their lunch boxes everywhere there are advertisers the products that they use in the bathroom like everywhere and kids are crazy about this kind of products because it's very easy to convince children it's very easy to uh to shape their world view when they are young and once you put them on a framework of instant gratification in that uh, like on that age you're kind of setting them up to be a huge consumer of the future a child who always got what he wanted and uh, focused on emotional gratification when he was a kid will grow up to become a fat motherfucker who will consume a lot of things so the consumerism changed the definition of happiness and they have been doing it since you're basically out of the womb that's how marketing has changed because right now if you look at any form of marketing it it rarely explicitly talks about the product it rarely does i mean yeah there are review videos and uh, uh there are influencers that talk about the reviews but again these fucking things are also sponsored they are borrowing the authority and credibility and trustworthiness of the influencers and the reviewers to fucking push their product so there is that so and yeah and the reason why they're focusing on the emotional aspect and the definition of happiness is because they have changed the definition of happiness the more you buy if you own an expensive uh, pair of shoes you have a, a, a like the latest flagship smartphone in your pocket and the most expensive pair of headphones of some fucking brand which is a, you know endorsed by some fucking athlete then your perceived value in society changes because the things that you own are quote unquote premium that's what marketing does now i mean yeah obviously there are you know good honest marketing to some degree in which you uh you find uh talking about the product but on a consumer level on a ground level on a feel level on which regular run of the mill average joes those kind of marketing are nothing but perception engineering the they change the way you view the world and uh, once they are successful in editing your definition of happiness and editing your definition of success th- now a lot of people do see through this bullshit particularly as they grow older and older and they realize that if i consume more and if i buy more the hole in my heart remains so i have a simple solution for this always be utility based 
and see uh, how you're gonna use the product before you're gonna need it or, or even a lot of these things are overrated anyway expensive smartphones expensive clothing expensive shoes like these fucking things are overrated anyway very expensive and super powerful laptops why the fuck do you need that a, a lot of people are purchasing phones on which they have like this some kind of chip which can process very high powerful games why do you buy that those kind of phones if you're not gonna play those kind of games on a professional level anyway you're gonna use social media apps like the, it, it doesn't even make any sense so be utility based including being utility based with content whenever you're consuming content a lot of people go to social media when they're bored and they have a little bit of time to kill and they and they end up you know giving themselves more anxiety and stressing their system out of proportions so don't fucking do that be utility based with content as well and one additional thing you can do is you can understand the temporary nature of the material gratification and you can learn what duties you have in your human life and you can just focus on your duties and along your dutiful path whenever you encounter this kind of material pleasure based distractions you can tell yourself like this is bullshit this is an illusion this is here to distract me from achieving greatness this is what you can do you can understand the illusion of happiness these products and these entities bring with the help of you know backstabbing marketing tactics and then you can use that knowledge to guide your actions as you navigate through life doing all sorts of duties now obviously uh, talking about all of that you know talking about your duties and navigating like and blah 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 that is beyond the scope of this particular episode so what i'm gonna do is i've actually written a book about this which is available for free it is published as a series of blog articles on my website i'm gonna link to the prologue in the description and after you like at the end of e like at the end of the prologue you will find the link to the first chapter and at the end of the first chapter you will find the link to the second one and so on and so forth initial few chapters may be a little bit boring but trust me it, it, it takes off after like three to four chapters whatever the point is when you read that book if you read that book you will understand the uh, the, the temporary nature of material gratification pleasure of the flesh and you will realize how useless it is to chase these things and you will also learn about what you should do instead and the mindset you need to have in order to do it. I request you to read like 10 chapters. If you read one chapter a day for five to six minutes, it will take you 10 days, five to six minutes each. And uh, if after 10 chapters you, you still don't find any value, which I doubt, but if you still don't, uh, I guess you can read some other guy's book like David Goggins. I don't know. So anyway, that's all I got to say for today because I feel that marketing is slowly, marketing and advertising has already taken over our lives and lots and lots of people are getting distracted because their perception of happiness, success, meaning and uh meaning and aim of life larger goals of life all have been changed now the goals of life of people are transient material based and pleasure based which is fucking shit which is stupid like if, if you walk on that path you're gonna be a miserable piece of shit don't do that have a good life be utility based don't let these fucking advertisers get under your skin Peace out.